All right, brief update. Logging today. It's warm, pretty dry, windy. The wind helps pulling the trees down, I think. Get this shit done before the end of the month. That's when the power goes off. If possible, I'll be able to get a friend who's already paying my phone bill to do that. I don't really want to do that because he's already paying a bunch. The other thing being without power, the phone bill is kind of a moot point, isn't it? You can't recharge it. So, this one I got toppled, landed in the tree next to it. Cutting some segments here. I got a little bit more work to do to get these all freed up, and then we'll see if it tumbles. And then hopefully this piece will slide down a bit. And I keep taking more. And uh, then this old big thing here also has to come down. It's fully debarked and rotted. It's probably seasoned already. It's a lot of wood. So I got these guys and the other one that I got already pre-cut down there that needs toppled. And then bits from the one, you can kind of see the yellow in there. Maybe. Yeah, there it is. Finish segmenting that. Any of these that need seasoned, I'm going to put them around the fire ring and do a big old cardboard fire, try and dry them out faster. And uh, that should pretty well cover it as far as firewood for the, the winter and the full year and everything goes, especially with this guy, I think, depending on how hollow and rotten that is. But uh, then I got to figure out how to haul it up. I don't think that's going to be today because my back's already stiff. But uh, I don't know if I can get these guys down and pretty well cut up. Then uh, the next several days will be pulling that wood out of the woods. And as soon as that's done, um, well, I can show for an example here. We got some. Some of the Siberians are already starting to bud. And the multi-floral rose is also starting to green up. So I'm good on food. Good on LP, good on cat food. Um, not sure how actually long it'll be before they actually do cut the power because there may be some injunction in place, but it's just going to rack up an amazing bill that's going to have me owing over a grand just to get it turned back on whenever the next time is. And uh, probably about another month's worth on the water. That's a little, little bit cheaper, Bill. I might be able to rally some help for that. Then again, maybe not. And after that, it's uh, I got about 20 gallons of water in jugs, and after that's uh, creek water. Let's see if it gets that bad. Uh, meantime, uh, just kind of got to make sure to remember at some point to run my truck for a bit today so that the computer can register the misfire and try and pin down a little more precisely what's going on. So that is my update.